So, you have an image and lots to say, but you don't want to overwhelm your audience. Try an interactive image. It's the perfect way to add all kinds of information visually and in layers. With Genially, it's super easy to do. To create an interactive image, you can use a template or start from a blank canvas. In the editor, upload your image from Drive, Dropbox, or select one from your device. Move it around, adjust the size, or click Edit to crop it. Pro tip, when you've got it the way you want it, lock it to avoid changing anything by mistake. Now let's start editing. The first thing we need is a title. Select it from the text menu. Change the font, size, color, adjust it to make it stand out and make sure it's legible. Next up, we need buttons and interactivity. In the interactive elements menu, you'll find lots of different button options. Add as many as you need and edit them at the same time to speed things up and keep the design consistent. Now it's time to add the information with interactivity. These are the interactivity options we have in Genially, and they can be combined. If you want to add more extensive information, we recommend using a window. There are plenty of templates you can use. Select the one that best suits your needs and start replacing. And the best part is that you can add even more interactivity. For example, why not add full screen interactivity to the image? That way, your audience can see it in more detail. Want more ideas? You can also use the windows to quickly insert videos. Just swap out the link in the template and you're done. Another way of breaking down the information is with reveal interactivity. Get something to appear at the click of a button, such as the title of the artwork. And when we click it again, it disappears. Combine this interaction with a tool tip to provide more information about what's contained within. And this is the result. When your audience hovers over it, they'll know what they're going to see when they click. Now that we have all the information, all that remains is to capture and direct the attention of our users. Now is a good time to introduce some animation. There are several different options and effects, and you can preview them by hovering over them. With entrance animation, we make the element appear with an effect. Continuous animation allows us to draw attention to the buttons and invite users to click. And with the hover option, we give even more prominence to the actions of our audience. Once we have one button set up, with the copy and paste option, we can have the rest ready in a flash. The moment has arrived. We click on present and publish it. Here you have the option to make it public or keep it private, meaning it can only be accessed with a link. And that's it. We can now share our content with a link, insert or embed it in other platforms, or even in another Genially. Now you're ready to wow audiences with your interactive images.